Buried in the hustle and bustle that is Oxford Circus, you might stumble on Mother's Milk, but it won't be easy. It's tucked away on a side street with no visible sign and doesn't have the immediate appearance of a coffee shop. I spoke to owners Will and James about how this strange creation came into existence. We started this more as a project rather than a business. I suppose it was more like a pop-up that didn't pop down. And probably like not having that intense money business brain that doesn't work out if you want to have a business and make money. Yeah. Like any decision is sometimes better than none. Yeah, so we need to just make some bad decisions basically. So what Will and James have created is not so much a cafe, more a community hub for some of central London's more curious coffee lovers. If you choose to stay for a coffee, you might also catch Will and James going about their usual activities, which on this day was installing a Flowjet bottled water pump system. Or making some political latte art. Go on. That's a cock, that's an arse, that's a heart, and that's some other shit. Wake up, just hate life for about three or four minutes, just really don't want to get up. Make a coffee, see if it pisses out or if it takes ages, and if it does neither of those things, start selling them. Find a new movement. But it was when their coffee delivery arrived that I soon realised what set them apart. Will and James have somehow managed to get their hands on one of Germany's finest coffees. There's one man um, responsible for everything, basically. It's called Paul Bonner. Had a, an espresso blend named after him called Odyssey. He introduced us to Johannes Bayer's coffee. It changed our lives, basically. We both sort of know what we're doing with coffee and like we wanted to use the best. And that was like Johannes's coffee. Well better than anything else we tried really. We have a mother's milk we're in on the window instead of Rosalind's kitchen. Yeah. Stage one. Pretty yeah. much exactly this, but without our landlord. And without, without salad all this, bar. all this shitty design. Now that I've started on my own, I'd happily swap this for a chain store. Yeah, and then just go and live on like a speedboat or something. <laughs> Pretty shit to live on a <laughs> And then it was time to try a coffee. I picked the Ethiopian, fully washed, in the Aeropress. I was looking forward to this. Between JB Cafe and Will and James's skills, this coffee is going to have every chance of realising its destiny as a refined, special cup of coffee. The coffee I'm trying is an Ethiopian. It's called Limo Yucro. Smells florally and fresh. A lot of sweetness straight away. A crispness that comes right through. This is a washed Ethiopian coffee. Now the fully washed process will make your coffee taste crisper, drier, getting sharper as it cools. Definitely the, the, the subtle funkiness is faded away. You have here a a level of refinement that I hardly see in coffees. If you like speciality coffee, this is super special. In quick summation, the coffee is up there with the best. Any chance you get to drink JB Cafe should be seized upon. Five stars. Will and James are not your usual baristas, but they have skills, passion, and JB Cafe. Four stars. The atmosphere is intimate and well, odd. But did I mention they have JB Cafe? Four stars. Overall, weird place, great coffee.
If you want to find out more about Mother's Milk, JB Cafe, the water system they installed, or anything else about Third Wave Coffee, then visit therightroast.com. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.